Hey, who's supposed to be working these cameras? How I bring them. Do you mean the camera one or the position one, Steve? Okay. I'm looking at camera two. Yeah. What? You might want to turn the lights on. You just, uh, well, you point over there and then be sure to cue me, but I'll still be looking on there if it's on that camera, okay? But I can use the camera. Is this the Make sure the house lights are off. Uh, yeah, Todd, turn on. Yeah, it's a new tape. Thank you. But as tradition has set, the calendar will climax with the junior senior prom, which is to be held on May 4th at the Weston Oaks Hotel in Houston. But for seniors, true happiness will not be possessed until May 31st, when their final graduation service will be held. You got it, buddy. That's our program for today. Join us again next Tuesday when the Mustang Express continues. Graduation service? Graduation service. Not a ceremony. It's not a religious thing. Do you mean the camera one or the position one, Steve? Okay. I'm looking at camera two. How much more time do we have? 30 seconds. Okay. Rolling. You see our cue. Okay. Roll tape. This is the MCS Television Network, KFHS, Friends Group. We'll take a look at home computing, and we'll also talk to some of the area FHA officers. I'm Kelly Wick, and I'll have these stories in one next on Mustang Express. Monday, the students of the high school received a friend contract and a student parent contract given to them by the Houston area chapter of MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. The friend contract contained information about drinking alcohol, such as 14 teenagers die each day in drunk driving accidents and a teenager is involved in an alcohol-related crash every 10 seconds. The student parent contract is to be signed by both parent and student agreeing to call home if he or she is ever in a situation when they have had too much to drink. Change cameras. Yes, home sir. computing is the latest craze, and Charlene Coleman filed this report. Home computing is becoming an interesting and popular hobby, but some computers are limited to what they can do. I asked Joel Orr just what his limitations were. Well, um, you have... As far as graphics are concerned, you have virtually no limitations, but music, you only have eight voices that can play at one time. Uh, they can play it all at the same time. So you could have like a guitar, trombone, oboe, playing at the same time and making uh, an orchestra if you wanted. Coming back but on camera one. Uh, yeah, telecommunication, which is what the modem's for. Um, you could log on to various BBSs like CompuServe and, um, maybe Al Network, but um, so that you could look at um, exchanges like the Wall Street Exchange, you could get some information on Wall Street, you could uh, download programs like tax programs, some accountants do your taxes on it, you could um, play a game online, you could play an adventure game online. 
but as far as okay, your communications, you can the best communications you can. Um, Commodore 64 goes 128k with an interface, so now the disk drive is hard as well. I think it's something like 800 baud, which is pretty slow for a drive. I'm showing sure comment in CS News. Thank you. The Friendswood High School campus singers have suddenly come to the but not seen by as many people as will see their upcoming performance. They have been asked to perform the national anthem in front of the entire Astrodome at an Astros baseball game. The students are excited and in the process of learning the song. The only complaint made from any of the campus singers is the fact that they must pay, each pay their own way into the game. FHA has been lucky enough to have several leaders and the newest addition is Allison Jones, an area officer. Kathy Payne got a chance to talk to her and the present area officer and files this report. FHA stands for Future Homemakers of America. This organization has several levels of leadership, one of them being area. How would you define an area officer? Um, I would define him as a person who's very dedicated and takes a part in getting together a very large meeting. What does an advisor to an area officer do? It depends, number one, on what office the girl has. Um, I had two area officers. One of them was Teresa Munz, and I had her when she was vice president of recreation. The other girl I had is Catherine McElyate, and hers is vice president of public relations. Tell old Kelly to read uh, that story slowly, because we got to give Amy plenty of time to change that tape. Why did you want to be an area officer? Well, I wanted to be an area officer because of the challenge. I wanted to really get involved with FHA, and becoming an area officer was the first step. Hopefully, I want to go further, but an area officer is the first step. This has been Kathy Payne, MCS News. As the month of April begins, you may be wondering what's in store for the remaining two months of the school year. Excluding track meets and baseball games, the following events have yet to come. The athletic banquet will be held on May 23rd for all varsity athletes and their invited guests. And the academic banquet for its honorees will be on May 17th. But, as tradition has set, the spring calendar will climax with the junior-senior prom, which is to be held on May 4th at the Weston Oaks Hotel in Houston. But for seniors, true happiness will not be possessed until May 31st, when their final graduation ceremony will be held, and we're history. That's our program for today. Join us again next Tuesday when the Mustang Express continues.